Hi friends. Today me and Nayla are outside and we're going to read a book to you. The book we're reading is called The Good Egg. I am so excited to read this book. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things like carry your groceries. I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, and I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and, and me and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Oh my goodness. are those eggs doing? Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Hi. I know, I know, I know. Hi, 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 hi. Mama, what do you hear? Nobody seemed to care though. Even every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. Yikes, they were everywhere. Look at what they're doing. They are making a mess. And the good egg, he seems really tired. <gasps> my doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up. Literally, something had to change. I'd had enough. Oh no. What is happening? Ugh. 
Let's see. You see the pretty sky, friends? It is beautiful out. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. Oh, he told them that he's leaving. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Oh no. There he is, all alone. He even tried to draw his family on the rocks. Poor egg. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. That's good. The egg is trying to take care of himself instead of taking care of all of the other eggs. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, and I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out. I even started painting. There he is taking walks, reading books, floating in the river, writing in the journal. There he is in a bathtub and he's even painting an egg. That is so silly. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. Oh, Nayla, you're laying on the book, you silly kitty. How are my friends supposed to see the pages? Oh no, what is this kitty doing? I don't think she wants us to read anymore. But there Eggy is, he's feeling all better. Let's see what happens next. I started to feel like myself again. There he is, the eggy is meditating. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while being good to myself. There he is. He's not gonna worry so much. He's gonna try to have fun with them too. And he's gonna make sure he takes care of his eggs and himself. Let's see what's next. There he is waiting to go into the store. He takes a deep breath and he says, here we go. Everybody missed me and I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. hi yo, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. And look at that. They even said, welcome home to Eggy. They're all excited. Sure, once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect 
And I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Oh, that's so good. He's joining in on the fun too, but still being good. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. Oh, there they are, all the eggs being silly. And that's the end of the book. That was so good. He learned that it's okay to be himself and it's okay for everybody else to be themselves too. He doesn't have to try and fix them. I'm so glad that he went back to his family. That's really good. So what I did was I made the Good Eggs family tree. He's got everybody on his tree. It's called the Dozen Family. He's got Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert, Frank one, Frank two. There's Good Egg in the middle. And he's got Meg, Peg, Greg, Clegg, Shell, and Shelly. That's a family tree. So I would like my friends with the help of their parents, go ahead and make a little family tree for yourselves. Make sure you name everybody in your family that you can think of. Have a great day. Say bye, Nayla. Say bye-bye. Bye, friends.